just love audition days. I love the energy that's associated with it. Good luck, good luck, good luck. I love the potential. Good morning. Complications out. That when you look out, then you know that music is vibrant and the future is really bright. Our goal is not only to produce outstanding performers or scholars who will be active in music, we want to produce people who are going to be leaders in music, the people who will shape the future. I was born in South Korea. My parents moved uh, from South Korea to Atlanta, Georgia when I was seven. I started my violin training at the age of seven. It says Mabu Wichim. It means to grind an axe till it becomes a needle. So just never give up, just keep at it. In order to get good at something, you have to sacrifice some other things. That's what the violin has really taught me to appreciate it. I've been studying with the same teacher for probably about eight years. In my high school, we didn't have an orchestra, but as soon as I went to college, I realized that's what I wanted to do. Ever since then, I fell in love with it my freshman year, and I've just been constantly learning as much as I can. Everybody knows about Eastman and that it's got a great reputation, it's a great music school, a lot of performers come out of the school. The faculty is obviously world renowned. While I uh, improve as a musician in terms of performing, I also wanted to mature as a musician intellectually and uh, I think Eastman School of Music offers the perfect opportunity for me to uh, mature in both. I think it's really easy a lot of the time at, at auditions to be led into a room and, and sort of do your, do your music and stuff and, and, and talk to a few people and then leave without really getting a sense of the community that you're going to be spending the next four years. The audition day at Eastman is a fairly intensive event um, and there's a reason for that. You know, being a music major uh, involves being in a very intensive curriculum. <laughs> It's a day-long event, and our hope is that by the time you leave, you know Eastman really well, we know you really well. I remember with my audition process, there was nothing like this at any other school I went to. And I felt like I could really talk to current students and people that have just been through this process when it was a little overwhelming. It seems a little bit intimidating until I came here and I was like, well, this is kind of like a family. I was actually in the elevator riding up to my audition room and all of a sudden I felt someone fixing my collar. And then I turned around and it was just one of the tuba students who said something like, you know, I didn't want you to walk into your audition with your collar like that. Um, and I, I think it was, it was just, there, there were a few little things that sort of distinguished the quality of the people. This is a place where you're going to come and you're going to work hard and there will be great challenges and great demands made of you, but you're going to be in an environment where you're supported and where everybody shares the passion that you have for music and that that's a good thing and that that's something that brings the students closer together rather than making them, you know, more competitive with each other. This area is all about de-stress. We have card games, our lovely comfortable couches where families can just take a break and relax from the stressful audition day. It's nerve-wracking. You have to take into account that the thing that really gives you, you know, an opportunity to get into the school and make an impression is the 15 or 30 minutes that you have in the room with your potential teacher. There's a lot weighing on that. Think of the audition day as as uh, a chance to make music for our faculty. Uh, it's not a competition, it's not a chance to demonstrate that you play this piece perfectly. If they've been really putting in the time and really putting in the effort, which is almost always the case, then you know you have to trust yourself. You have to know that there, there's a certain standard at which you're going to play no matter what. time to make a decision, think about where do I think I will love every minute of my time there? Where do I think I'll be best prepared? Where do I think 10, 20, 30 years from now? What I'm going to remember are the people I studied with, the faculty members with whom are still committed and very much a part of my lives. A production of the University of Rochester. Please visit us online and subscribe to our channel for more videos.